good to see you, my dear. Zoji found you, I take it. Come, we have much to discuss. I'm glad Zoji found you. Okay. Sometimes he actually manages to surprise me. You've already done so much. I hesitate to ask, but Lord Bakaro is reluctant to move forward with the peace talks while the Ascendant Order remains a threat. The Ascendant Lord and his minions are still out there somewhere. Lord ah. Bakaro is hesitant to proceed when an attack could occur at any moment, but I can't keep the Alliance leaders here much longer. Their patience with the situation grows thin. They are a proud and fickle lot, but they have one thing in common, dear. They respect you. Go to the city palace and talk to them. Ask them to remain patient. Then speak to Lord Bakaro. See if you can convince him to let me get things started. Find the Alliance leaders at Gondolin Palace and convince them to wait just a little longer. After that, look for Lord Bakaro at the city's western docks. He's been there for days, overseeing the society of the steadfast relief efforts for Galen. I had to put them somewhere, dear, and Mandrake Manor isn't large enough to keep them comfortable and adequately separated. There's more than left. enough room in the palace to make sure they don't engage <coughs> on chaperone squabbling. Haha. <laughs> That would never work. It took untold hours of planning and preparation to get them here in the first place. And then we nearly lost them on multiple occasions. No, this is our one chance for peace. We won't get another if they leave. According to the reports I received, you were there, my dear. You saw firsthand the destruction at Vastir, the rumblings from Iphelon. The Society of the Steadfast is sending aid to the islands as quickly as their ships can make the journey. Lord Bacaro Valores, philanthropist and founder of the Society of the Steadfast. He and his organization have gone to great lengths to assist those impacted by the Three Banners War and other catastrophes, such as what's happening on Galen. He's sponsoring them, dear, and he's paying our salaries, so keep that in mind when you go to talk with him. Get Lord Bacaro to agree to let me begin the peace talks, and then we can get High King Emmerich and the others to the table. Don't say I didn't warn you. Save the day once and everyone expects you to do it again. But save the day twice? You'll never know a moment's peace. Don't worry, I won't get in your way. I'm officially out of the hero business. For real this time. Uh-huh. Yo. Don't kyllä ihan totta, et me ei tiedetä missä ne on. Askenrand Orderin li ö, johtaja. Mitä ne suunnittelee? Mutta ei niitä rauhannettuja neuvottelujakaan voi tosiaan yrittää hidastaa. Tässä tuntuu vaan siltä, että perätään kovasti seuraavaa lisäosaa, mikä tuli ensi vuonna. Greetings. They've separated us, have us under constant guard. I feel like a prisoner. And all because Lord Bicaro wants to maintain the sanctity of his peace talks. But I want to hear your news. Where have you been, my friend? Druids and seals. <laughs> Impressive as always. And have you learned anything more about the Ascendant Order and its mysterious Lord? Se oli vähän niinku oma juttuunsa siellä, siellä niin Galenissa tää, et se ei ole mitenkään Askendat Orderiin liittyvä juttu. Yes, yes. For a Breton noble, Lady Arabelle seems quite competent. I know my father trusts her, despite her ties to Emmerich and the Covenant. We'll get to it. I can't wait to get out of this room so we can... Missä mm, smooth. I'm truly distressed over the fate of the Gonfalon Colossus. What madness! What? This is Sparta. Sit there.
Do you bring news, my friend? Is Lord Bakaro ready to summon us so we can finally engage in the discussions of peace? Well, that's something, at least. I swear, though, if something doesn't change soon, I'm going to call for Captain Zaji and return to my own domain. I've been absent long enough as it is. Locked away for my safety is not what I had imagined when I agreed to attend this conference. I'll abide a little longer, but my royal patience is growing quite thin. Go, my friend. End the threat so we can get to the business that brought us here. The stories I've me. heard about Queen Irene are incredible. I wonder if even half of them are true. I used to enjoy my visits to the archipelago. It was a welcome change from the hustle and bustle of my court. But because of the Ascendant Order, I'm practically a prisoner in here. But Kaki tell me, valita. what have you been up to? More druidic traitors? I really must have a talk with their elders. And they were working with sea elves. That's not an alliance I would have predicted. But what about the Ascendant Order? Any sign of them or their lord? Aha, Arabelle. She's never failed me yet. Give her whatever help she requires. I haven't spoken to Irene or Ernskar since the celebration. I think I actually miss them. The guards are overly protective of us, and we've had practically no contact. No. Lord Bakaro wants the peace talks to occur under controlled conditions. He's worried that if left to our own devices, we'd start another war. And I can't say he's wrong. We're all a bit hot-headed and stubborn, if you hadn't noticed. Fills my heart with pride to know the High King knows something of our deeds. Kyllä. Isabelin tää suosio vaan nousee jatkuvasti. Puhuu noille kuninkaallisille. No joo, täytyy myöntää, että tässä on kyllä ihan hyvin ruvettu niin kuin vähän, vähän niin kuin inven, uh, uusia asioita keksimään. Niin kuin, tota oli odotettu pitkään tämän mpc osassa että saas taas se tuli tässä näin. Monet on pyytänyt jotain minipeliä, korttipeli tuli tässä näin niissä osassa. Et paljon tämmöisiä pieniä ää, tota noin, niin kuin uudistuksia. Ah, seeking a commission with the honorable. We are prosecuting a war again. Uh, you can use the dinghy there to ferry your. Ah, okay. Tän tän tota noin niin. Trajeli. Let's get these supplies on board. The people of Galen need our assistance. I'll take care of things here on High Isle in your absence, Lord Bakaro. May the society's efforts on Galen bring the people of Vestir some relief. You're Lady Arabelle's assistant, aren't you? Well, if you're here to talk to Lord Bakaro, you need to hurry. He plans to set sail for Galen with this last shipment of relief supplies. He's determined to lead the Society's efforts to help the island. The Society of the Steadfast's primary charter involves providing relief to those unfortunate enough to be caught up in war or disaster. Galen was recently rocked by both brutal assaults and volcanic activity. We're sending supplies and healers. Not officially, no, but Lord Bakaro tells me everything. I handle the day-to-day -day workings of the Society of the Steadfast and command our small contingent of knights. When Lord Bakaro travels, I oversee operations at Steadfast Manor. Okay. Ah, the defender of the three thrones and the savior of the sisters. I'm afraid you've caught me at a bad time. The Society of the Steadfast is needed in Vastia, and my ship is ready to depart. I decided to oversee the relief efforts personally. <laughs> Lady Arabelle uses every weapon in her arsenal. I suppose that's why I hired her. But the timing isn't right, my friend. There's too much at stake to risk another setback. Once the most recent threats have been eliminated, then we may begin. 
Mitä? I was about to send word to Lady Arabel. My scouts reported new ascendant order activity at the Dufort shipyards. I sent a messenger there to confirm these reports, but they have yet to return. I fear Duchess Alea has fooled us May not go. After you discovered that her brother was the ascendant Magus and killed him, Duchess Alea claimed no involvement. She was stoic in her grief and assured me her brother acted without her permission or foreknowledge. Hmm. Since you're here. Ja, siitä löytyy niin kuin päiväkirjan sivuja, missä se tota noin ihmetteli, ihmetteli tätä näin tämän toimintaa, mutta tässä Askendand Orderissa oli yksi omituinen piirre, ja se oli se, että sai puhuttua puolelleen jopa Fighter Skildin championin. Mikä on sillä, että... Okei, okay, saat olla petturi, mutta silti, silti tosi, tosi outoa. If you're still working with Arabel, then you can look into the validity of this threat. Discover what became of my messenger at the Dufort shipyards. That would ease my mind while I aid Vastir and get us closer to starting the peace talks. Aputarvikkeita. Luotuksen kukki apuksi. Selvä. Kyllä se mahdollista tietysti on, että se lady olisi. Se pelikin oli. Mutta, mutta, mutta. Se olisi kyllä hyvä, hyvä tietysti. Hyvä viilaus linssiin, että itse asiassa niin ei olekaan kyse lordista, vaan on leidistä. Tää ja rakentaa joukkoja niin kuin Dufordin shipyardilla. Ah, tossa. No niin, pa tiedosti. Welcome back, dear, and wipe that expression off your face. I'm not dead yet, Lady Arabel. You need to rest. 
I want to hear all about your conversations with the Alliance leaders and Lord Bukhara, dear. But I think we need to deal with this situation I find myself in first, if that's all right with you. Poison, I should think. Uh, it has thing. all the usual signs. Right after you left, I received a package. My favorite wine. And a note of congratulations for saving the Alliance leaders. I should have known better than to pour a glass, but... Here we are. The note was suspiciously vague about that. If I hadn't been tired of thinking about twelve dozen other things, that should have set off a warning bell. Instead... No matter. Tell me, is Lord Bukhara ready to start the peace talks? How can that be? Duchess Alea assured me she had retaken control of her shipyards. We'll deal with that later. Right now, I need you to figure out where that package came from. Determine who wants me out of the way. Nothing has been touched. Everything is still exactly where I left it. Examine the note and bottle carefully. See if you can trace them back to their origin. And talk to Ravana. She's been working to identify the poison and figure out an antidote. My life is in your hands. Up. Oh. More often than you might expect, actually, comes with the territory. I am rather famous, dear. Still, I should have been more careful. I can't afford to make a mistake like that again. People who send expensive gifts usually want to take credit. Just guesses. I suspected the Ascendant Lord, but your news about the Dufort shipyards concerns me. Did we misjudge Duchess Alea? Was she working with her brother? Is she part of the Ascendant Order? We need evidence before we can make an accusation. Lady Arabelle is fortunate that Zaji sent for me, and not one of the Society of the Steadfast's menders. They wouldn't have been able to counteract the poison. Mixi. This poison smells slightly of garlic, and has all the earmarks of a druidic compound. But its effects remind me of much older recipes. No healer without druidic training would have even recognized some of the ingredients that make up the poison. No. But I have given Lady Arabelle a tincture that will keep her stable and slow down the poison's most deadly effects. I need to return to my workshop, analyze the components, and consult my ancient herbal apothecary. I'm sure I've seen this before. Just what Lady Arabelle asked. Discover where the poisoned wine came from and who sent it. I'll leave more of my tincture with Zaji and give him exact instructions. Then I need to go do research of my own. Meet me at my workshop as soon as you can. Betty. Aside from the anonymous signature, it's the same as other notes I've received. Do Fort. You must be my eyes and ears on this dear. Tell me what you've discovered. I really hate being so impotent. Ravana tells me her tincture defers the worst effects of the poison, but I still feel weak, like my blood is on fire. <sighs> Enough of my problems. Tell me what you saw when you examined the note and the bottle. Let me guess. The 571 vintage. I'd be hard-pressed to refuse such an exquisite wine. Ashcroft's fine goods and imports. Only place on the island that might have any bottles available, other than the Duchess's private stores. Ask for Fillion Ashcroft, the proprietor. He knows me well and keeps a spot in Bayside Artisans here in town. And while Ravana works on an antidote, 
I'll send Zaji to make sure the Alliance leaders don't accept any mysterious gifts. Mieti, mietinkin, että tämän lisäosan niin kuin, se osan jälkeen tulikin jonkinlainen D-osa, jossa palataan edelliseen, edelliseen lisäosaan. Ja tämä on ihan hauskaa, että ne on pystynyt tämän suunnittelemaan. Käytetään tämän niin aikaisempaakin lisäosaa hyväksi. Did you come here for crafting certification? Oh, if you came for crafting certification, I can assist you. Welcome to Ashcroft's Fine Goods and Imports. I am Fillion Ashcroft, proprietor and expert on all things luxurious and exquisite. What might I help you with today? Hmm, let me see. Yes, a fine vintage. Very fine indeed. I may have sold a bottle or two recently, but I don't make a habit of discussing my clients' orders. What is this about, if I may be so bold? What? I had no idea! Lady <laughs> Arabelle is one of my best customers! I swear on my reputation, that wine left this shop unaltered. In fact, I only made one sale that included this particular vintage recently. It was a rather large order, in fact. Oh, this is awkward. Castle Navir Seneschal placed the order, claimed he needed to replenish the cellars for Duchess Alea, and demanded I sell back the wine I had purchased from them. That exact vintage, to be precise. You'll want to talk to them. Seneschalki boy, olla ihan hyvin niinku. Kansiuonessa mukana. Tässä on hyvin loogista, että se olisi, koska se pitää kaikkea naruja käsissä. Tää kaikki aika, aika vahvasti osoittaa niinku Dufortin suuntaan. Toivottavasti se on ihan pakkokin itse asiassa olla Dufortti mukana Dufortin suvun jäseniä mukana tässä salaliitossa, koska... Hero of the sisters, you're always welcome here. The Duchess will see you in the night's wing. What about me? I don't... Lady Arabelle's assistant? How good to see you again. But I don't remember your name on my schedule today. Did we have an appointment? Do tell. Well, go ahead. After everything you've done for the people of the archipelago, you've earned the right to be direct with me. Lady Arabelle? Poison? Is she all right? But what was that about wine? I haven't placed any orders recently. Not while the castle is still in disrepair. And I haven't appointed a new Seneschal since that trouble with Steward Hersian. Again? I thought my knights ran them off after that terrible business with my brother. Thank you for bringing me the news. I'll send a battalion to deal with them right away. I know how this must look, but I am not in league with those malcontents. Did he? Well, I want the Ascendant Lord brought to justice, the same as you. That wine that poisoned Lady Arabelle. Was it a Dufort Singular Amber? Vintage 571? I received a similar gift this morning. It's in the Knight Commander's private chamber. The Knight Commander insisted that the anonymous gift be tested before I consumed so much as a drop. It's in her private chamber, waiting for one of my handmaidens to come by and taste it. <laughs> Feel free to perform your own investigation. There's not much to say. It arrived without fanfare, with an anonymous note. The vintage was my father's favorite. Like a he was still sausage. new to his role as duke when the vineyard turned out those precious bottles. We depleted our own stores of that vintage a long time ago. But everyone at court knows I was fond of that wine. We opened a bottle once a year to celebrate my father and the elevation of House Dufort. I was quite sad when we uncorked the last one. Hmm. I think it's alone. Se on vähän huonosti tähdätty tommonen yrkytysoperaatio, kun ei ikinä tiedä kuka se juo. Tuu, 
samalla tyylillä kirjoitettu. Ää, se on sam samalla, sama nimi. Tai siis nimimerkki. What do you think? Did someone send me the same gift that poisoned poor Lady Arabelle? As we discussed, and you no doubt noticed, the letter was unsigned. My knight commander insisted on having someone else taste the wine before she would allow any to pass my lips. I'm just glad you arrived before that happened. Hold on. Earlier you mentioned that the shopkeep claimed that my seneschal placed an order for a large amount of wine. While we did no such thing, one of my sentries informed me that a courier had arrived with an unscheduled delivery. Then your answer may be right outside. I told the sentry to have them wait by the jousting tents until I was ready to deal with the mix-up. Talk to the courier, and find out who hired them to deliver the incriminating bottles. Someone has gone to a lot of trouble to try and remove both myself and Lady Arabelle from the table, while also focusing the blame for this all on me. Speak to the courier, and get some answers. Or I will. To sow confusion and weaken House Dufort, of course. And to further delay the peace talks. Perhaps even scuttle them completely. I have political rivals, but none who would stoop to murder. If I had to guess, this is the work of the Ascendant Order. I fear we'll find the Ascendant Lord's hand on the tiller of most of the recent events that have plagued the archipelago. Call it a feeling deep in my bones. In the meantime, talk to this courier and see what they reveal about whoever hired them. Kyllä Firesongin kanssa, johtajan kanssa ollut liitossa. Are you from the castle? Can I finally make my delivery and be done with this damn job? Ashcrofts? Mm, no. Some hooded figures hired me to take some crates to an isolated spot up north. That's where I met another hooded figure. He helped unload my wagon, gave me the crates for Castle Navir, and told me to make the delivery. Mm, no names, just enough gold to make me not want to ask any questions. You did hear me say we were in an isolated location, right? But if it helps, they were definitely wearing armor under their hooded cloaks. Night armor. Right below the cliffs of Garrick's Rest. Look, I know how all this sounds, but I needed this job. Courier work has been hard to come by since the trouble here and on Galen. All I know is I delivered one set of crates and received another for Navir. Hi, Pro! Zati has found you! Nani? Lady Aravel wasn't improving, so Zaji went to find Druid Revana. Do not worry, Five Claw. Casca stands guard at Mandrake Manor. Instead of giving this one more medicine, Rivana sent me to find you. Druid Rivana wants you to come to her workshop right away. Do you know where it is? Just west of Gonfalin Bay and north of Druid's Gate. When you see her, remind her that Lady Arabel still needs the antidote. Oh, that makes Zaji feel much better. It was good to get out of the manor and do something. All this waiting makes Zaji's ears itch. This one will head back to the manor and make sure Lady Arabel is taking her tincture. Ah, there you are. I hope you've had more success than I, my friend. I thought that I'd be able to replicate an antidote using some of the old recipes in my ancient herbal apothecary, but nothing I've concocted thus far has worked. This poison is proving very resistant to our tried and true elixirs. That's just it. I identified the various plants, root, stem, and leaf, but they aren't those plants. Not exactly. Neither did I, at least not at first. But after careful study, I can see that someone with extensive agricultural knowledge created new and more potent versions of the rare plants used to prepare the poison. Oh, did you discover who sent the wine? Garrick's rest. Strange magic saturates the wildlife around those ruins. Hmm. If that's the source of the poison, I'll need samples to craft an antidote. Meet me there. I fear we could be dealing with another rogue druid, and a powerful one at that. Because, uh, because, kaikki elämä 
Nirnissä ja Tamrielissä tosiaan perustuu magiaan, niin sen takia niin äh, vahvasti magisessa paikassa ne vaan kaikki kasvit kasvaa voimakkaammiksi. We'll need to proceed carefully once we get to Garrick's rest. If we are dealing with a powerful druid, we won't be able to avoid them for long. Hmm. That sounds like the Ascendant Order. But only a skilled druid could alter plants and create this vile poison. We know they worked with the Elder Tide Circle before. Maybe they still have some druid allies assisting them. The tincture I provided will slow the poison's spread, but it won't hold off the inevitable forever. She should be all right for a while longer, but I do recommend we hurry. Once I have a sample of the plants, I know I can craft an antidote. Niinpä niin, kun se nimenomaan voi ollakin niin kuin... Druidi. Se voi olla ihan hyvin, hyvin druidi. Jo, joka on niin kuin ollut liitossa Firesongin kanssa ja Elder Tidin. Ja mitä edellisellä saarella toi Stefan totesi, että druidiritari. Miksei? Siis se on ihan... Tää on ihan mahdollinen asia. Ah, friend, look. It appears something heavy was dragged up and down this hill recently. You see? The ground is disturbed, suggesting heavy crates were dragged up and down the hillside. And see over there? Debris. Let's take a closer look. A door. That's definitely where whatever made the marks came from. Ascendant Order has been hiding here for a while. Lord Bakara was right to be concerned. Tää on todennäköisesti kans joku vanhempi organisaatio. Tuo on muuten ensimmäinen muunrotunen Askendan or or jäsen, mitä mä oon. No niin. Events on Kaelin are only beginning. Joo, eli ne oli liitossa. Druidy brothers and sisters. 
Ashkin that Lord Dion Piston in it. The Ascendant Cut. Lord is recruiting disillusioned druids after the events on Galen. Insidious. Fixua. Meidän, meidän näinhän oikeasti niin kuin... Näinhän oikeasti toimitaan, että niin kuin aiheuttaa sota jossain, jonka jälkeen tulee tyytymättömyyteen, jonka jälkeen käyttää sitä omien etujen ajamiseen. Okei, okay. okay, tää on ehkä uskottavaa, että jos se on varjomagiaa käyttä käyttäviä, niin ne on argoniaa ne. Those must be the crates the courier delivered. Check the labels. Tucker Fall. Sure bird express agency. Vastaanotte ja kapteeni Marguerite. Those were intended for steadfast manner. Why deliver them here? See what's inside the open one. Kupera. Society of the steadfast armor. With that, the ascendant order could impersonate steadfast knights. Ah. Tämä myöskin osoittaa sen, että steadfast on jossain, jossain määrin mukana tässä jutussa. Olihan niillä ritarikin, joka... Oho, closet löytyy. Joka ajatteli, että vampyyrillä parantaminen on ihan hyvä juttu. Eldred. Tää nyt sanois, että Elea on syytön. Joo, Steadfast Manorissa. The Ascendant Lord gave clear orders to this druid alchemist. We need to find that garden. Niillähän oli puutarha Steadfast Manorissa. We didn't expect the Ascendant Order to wither away, but I had no idea its roots ran so deep. And it seems they have crept into our most trusted circles. Someone at Steadfast Manor diverted this armor shipment here. Let's review what we uncovered. We know that the Ascendant Lord allied with factions of the Elder Tide and Firesong circles. But to actively promote a sacred druidic prophecy to gain followers to his cause. What about those crates we found? Armor that the Ascendant Order can use to impersonate steadfast knights. I know Captain Marguerite by reputation. We must talk to her about the shipments. But first, I still need to gather samples of the plants used to make the poison. And I assume the key we found will grant us access to this alchemical garden. Then I can craft an antidote for Lady Arabelle. She and Lord Bakara will know how to best handle this situation once she recovers from the poison. Onko Bakarot edelleenkin tässä jutussa mukana? Se on semmonen niinku mikä on kyl... Ajatus mikä on kylmä nyt mua joiden pidempään. Että niin, se ei... 
se on niin vanha, vanha vitsi, että... Onko, onko poliisi sittenkin rikollinen? Uusia juttuja täällä. Kuirassi vai Jack? Se kestää aika pitkään, niin kuin tää näin, tää, tän, tän tykkääminen kerätä. Että se tykkää. Tämä on tää perus, perus outfitti on ihan hyvä tällä. Seiska tasolla, jos pääsis. Joo, tän levelappaamisessa level kyllä kestää tän kompanjonne aika pitkään. Mirrin kanssa mä oon tehnyt tän näin ja oli tosi hyvä se oma henkilökohtainen tehtävä. I gathered enough of the plant to craft an antidote for Lady Arabelle. She will soon be on her way to a full recovery. Did you find anything interesting in the druid ritual box? That's a shard of the green. I've never seen an intact one before. Long ago, druids used them to protect sacred locations. The practice withered like leaves on a dying vine, mostly because they were so hard to come by. Hang on to that for now. Now? Now we do exactly what Lady Arabelle would want us to. We follow the clues. Head to Steadfast Manor. We need to talk to Captain Marguerite. I'll meet you there after I start the preparations for the antidote. Century, but what's this? A druid and Lady Arabelle's assistant. Forgive the intrusion. What brings a druid and Lady Arabelle's most trusted assistant to Steadfast Manor? I'm afraid Lord Bacaro is still on Galen, leading the relief efforts there. Is there something I can help you with? Interesting. I was informed that those crates were lost at sea, but I suspected there was more going on than a simple accident. Add to that the minor thefts and intruders my knights keep running off. It seems the Ascendant Order has targeted us. You say you found this with the Ascendant Order? That's one of Lord Bacaro's most prized possessions. He usually keeps it down in the cellars with his collection of trinkets from his adventuring days. Those thieves were bolder than I thought. Claiming? The Society provides aid to those in need. But it's evident that the Ascendant Order stole from us. You're Lady Arabelle's investigator. Would you check the cellars and help me determine how those thieves got past our security? Take this key. It will open the door to the cellars. Just follow the path to the north toward the dock. If the Ascendant Order is stealing from the Society of the Steadfast, we need to know how and why. The Society of the Steadfast's primary charter involves providing relief to those unfortunate enough to be caught up in war or disaster. Galen was recently rocked by both brutal assaults and volcanic activity. We're sending supplies and healers. Not officially. Aha, uskoiskohan tota. Kauska, että seikkailun jälkeen niin päädytään takaisin näihin tutkinta tutkintapuuhiin.
sotkua on. Kirjahdyskään ei ole mitään. Hmm. That empty sconce. See the druid symbols carved into it? Check if the shard fits into the socket. Just as I suspected, a hidden door. Let's see what other secrets this manor is hiding. Epäilyttävä. A passage leading deeper beneath the manor. Let's see what Lord Bacaro is hiding down here. Eli olet sinäkin päätellyt, että se on pakarokkaa kaiken taustalla. Druid circle and an ancient one by the looks of it. I want to get a closer look. Nee, druid territory. This place feels sacred, ancient. Did Lord Bacaro know it was down here? And why keep it a secret? Hmm. Instead of answers, suddenly we have more questions. Somewhere beneath Steadfast Manor. But if you're asking what purpose it serves, that's an ancient druid circle. It's a place of power and meditation from long ago. As far as I know, the Stone Lore Circle isn't aware this location even exists. I'm not sure, but stones as old as these, they hold memories, emotions from ages past, some believe they can tap into that power, use it for their own purposes. There may be a perfectly benign reason to keep such a place secret. More often than not, places such as this are forgotten for a reason. Let's see what else we can learn and depart this ancient hall as soon as we can. Spirits often guard locations such as this. Be careful. I'm messing up our other side. Some other card, any good? See that? Fire strong, strong. Ne, fire strong. You learn. Let's go haasta. Haasteta. When, when I offered you my blade, I had no idea we'd get to do things like this. Entinen aseen kantaja. Joo, voi olla vähän ehkä kurjaa elämä. Pauldrons. Ei, tuppas tänne. Iso pelle. Saat, saat Pauldronit viimeinkin. Ei reagoitu, reagoitu. Joo, tämän panssari reagoi itse asiassa siihen, mitä se... Mitä tavaraa sillä on päällä. Ihan kiva. Down there. Let's get a closer look. Those carvings. Definitely druidic. Manne kiinni niinku. Kuin... 
Skyrimissä. Okei. Merkardi on siis ruidikuninkaalle sukua. Pakaroko Valoruksesta voit olla ruidikuningas. Niinpä tietysti. That armor. It looks just like the Ascendant Lord, doesn't it? Good lad. Ja sitten poliisi olikin rikollinen. What's the connection here? Why does the Ascendant Order care about this place? And why does Lord Bakaro have a suit of the Ascendant Lords? What? But Lord Bakaro is a man of peace. Why secretly control the very order of rogue knights that are actively trying to destroy everything he's worked for? I don't understand. So he helped foster the conflicts on Galen, then stepped in to help with the Steadfast after the dust settled. All while making alliances with the victors. But his plans failed. No new druid king has been crowned. Let me see that. Could this be accurate? Could Lord Bakaro be a direct descendant of druid king Kassarain? Oh no. The carvings. I think I know why this place is important to Lord Bakaro. Examine the carvings. I'll explain what I see in them. Do you see? That's a stylized rendition of the Ivy Throne with the Druid King's regalia, the crown, staff, and gauntlet below it. Ah. Carved above the throne. That's the heraldry of House Mershad. Yeah. So Lord Bakaro, the Ascendant Lord, believes he's descended from the last Druid King through his mother's bloodline. He wants to become the Druid King and re-establish the Ivy Throne. That's why he went to Galen. He needs the Druid King's regalia. In and of themselves, the regalia have no innate power. They're symbols, nothing more. However, the very fact that the sacred seeds have been regrown into the crown, staff, and gauntlet give credence to the prophecy of the Druid King. The Dream of Kassarain. The druids of the archipelago have debated its meaning since it was first uttered so long ago. With the regalia, Lord Bakaro can proclaim that the conditions of the prophecy have been met and that he's the new druid king. The prophecy holds deep significance for druids. We've been waiting for its promise to manifest for a long, long time. We have to hurry. I must administer the antidote to Lady Arabelle and warn her of this betrayal. Meet me back at Mandrake Manor. Captain Marguerite's reputation is impeccable, and she seemed unaware of all this. 
But the same could be said about Lord Bacaro. Until we determine how far this corruption has spread into the society of the Steadfast, we keep this to ourselves. Miks tuo? Joo, ain't ain't no ain't no tuota no niin ongelma vaan on se, että että Bacaro oli vaan liian hyvä tyyppi. Jo viime viime niin kuin lisäosasta lähtien. Et sillä niin kuin en tullut liian yllätyksenä. Tosin tää ei ollut sellainen niinku haistakaa kakka tyylinen, tyylinen niinku juonen, juonen käänne niinku tossa noin niinku Greymoorissa, mikä oli ihan oikeesti niinku äh, sillä että aha. Tosi se on Harry Potterin niinku lopetu, lopetus kans niinku vetää vertoja, et aha. Okei, okay, täytyy myöntää. Tällä kertaa se arvotus sentään säilyy yhden lisä, lisäosan ajan. Eli tosiaan ei, ei, ollut, ei ollut kyse mistään muusta sitten kuin että tosiaan, tosiaan niin kuin saadaan. Tietysti kaikki, kaikki salaisuudet ja mysteerit, niin kuin ne muuttuu, muuttuu taas tylsiksi siinä vaiheessa, kun se selviää. Mutta niin, niin. Nyt, nyt sitä säilytettiin sentään sitä loppuratkaisua niin kuin aika pitkään. Ja siis sillä oli niin kuin... Kyllä tuolla silleen niin kuin semisti oli niin kuin jopa ihan looginen selitys. Et jos olisit tämmöisen kuninkaan viimeisiä jälkeläisiä, niin... No joo. Saattaa olla pieni, pienimuotoinen halu, että loputonta voimaa. Mutta nää ei ole mitään suurta, suurta kirjallisuutta ollut tai proosaa. Nää eson, mutta on nää ilmeisesti ollut parempia kuin Wovissa nää juonet. Drink this. It will neutralize the poison. We discovered the source of the poison and... Something more. Our friend will tell you. Yeah, man, I want to talk to you. Let me down. Tell me what you uncovered, dear. Tell Lady Arabel what we learned, and remind. Oh, couldn't you have added a touch of cinnamon or honey to this, Ravana? No matter. I assume I will be hale and hearty again before long. Now enough with this suspense. Tell me what you've uncovered, dear. Uh, the poison must have been <laughs> my hearing. Did you say Lord Bacaro is the Ascendant Lord? How can that be? He sponsored the peace talks. He started the Society of the Steadfast, which has done nothing but good for the archipelago and the mainland. Se on palkanut tekemään hyvää. Se itse tarkoittaa sitä, että hän on itse hyvän tekijä. Looking at things from this perspective puts the delays and how the Ascendant Order has managed to stay one step ahead of us in a very different light. But why go through all this trouble? What is Lord Bacaro actually planning? Ah, I feel better already. Well done, dear Ravana. As for this business about the Druid King, I read the reports from Galen. Some druids truly believe that the ivy throne would be an improvement over the ruby one. But all this chaos and murder... We've been hesitant for too long, unsure of where the next attack would come from. Now we know. It's coming from inside our circle, from someone we considered an ally, a friend. Take this, my friend. We'll deal with Bacaro soon enough. I can't in good conscience start the peace talks while the Ascendant Lord, the man I knew as Lord Bacaro, is out there doing who knows what. I'm afraid I need your help again, my friend. We must keep the Druid King's regalia out of Bacaro's hands. And we must assume that Count Stefan and Druid Laurel are in danger. Mm. If Lord Bacaro truly believes he's the heir to the Ivy Throne of the Druids, he'll stop at nothing to get his way. We must go to Galen and defend the remaining regalia. Druid Ravana and I will get Zaji to sail us to Galen. While we collect the staff from the Stone Lore Circle, 
I want you to go to Count Stefan and protect the Druid King's crown. We'll meet you at Castle Mornard as soon as we can. I'll leave Captains Colleen and Suzo to guard the Alliance leaders while we go to Galen. First we protect the Regalia. Then we stop Lord Vaccaro, or the Ascendant Lord, or whatever he calls himself. Now, get to Vastir and protect the crown. I don't really know. I'm not an expert on Druidic law and prophecy. According to what you and Ravana discovered, Bakaro believes he's a direct descendant of Kassarain, the last Druid King. If he gains the regalia, he could make a claim for the title. I never underestimate anything when it comes to religious fervor, my dear. If nothing else, his connection to this legacy gives him a legitimate claim to power through his mother's bloodline. And many might see the Ivy Throne as preferable to the Ruby one. Druid Ravana's elixir has done wonders. I feel stronger already. Still, I was weak from the poison for a long time. I expect my recovery to be slow but persistent. Don't worry, dear. I'll leave the dangerous work to you and Ravana for now. Because we don't know how far-reaching Bakara's conspiracy is. The Alliance leaders are safe inside the palace, with their loyal captains watching over them. And we don't want them to hear of this betrayal yet. It would end the talks in a flash. Yeah, eli Pakaroa ei oteta elävänä kiinni sitten. I thought our troubles were over after all the death and destruction. Something worse is coming, Feda. I feel it too. Like a dark storm on the horizon. I'm worried, Feda. I don't think Galen's troubles are over. Antikea et siitä on tyyppi. Search the castle. If there are more rogue knights, I want them in chains. We routed them from the. I'm glad to see you again, friend. I'll make sure nothing was damaged or stolen. Uh huh. Okay. I'm glad to see you again, friend. I just wish your arrival didn't coincide with another crisis. A contingent of knights from the Society of the Steadfast entered the castle. Not in and of itself a concern, we are allies after all. But we weren't informed of a visit. When one of my knights saw them go into the library, she went to investigate. She discovered them ransacking the library. They attacked her, but she was able to fend them off and summon help. My knights routed the villains, but we're unsure if anything was stolen, or if there are more of them hiding elsewhere in the castle. The Ascendant Order? The rogue knights that gave you trouble back on High Isle. What would they be seeking in my castle? Um. And those imposters must have been looking for the Druid King's crown. Come, we need to check the library at once. And later, I want to hear more about your accusations concerning Lord Bacaro. <laughs> Don't tell me you put the crown in library. I assumed it would be safe enough locked in a case in the library until I could make other arrangements. We had no reason to believe the relics were in danger. Besides, I only returned to the castle a moment before you arrived. At the docks, preparing to receive Lord Bacaro's ship and the relief supplies he promised, it never arrived. I suppose that was all part of the ruse, based on what you just told me. Now let's go make sure the crown is still safely locked away. The library is this way. Hmm, Kitty. No, yeah, that long clap is that too. Damn their eyes! They ransacked the place. You're too late. See if the case is still here. The crown belongs to the Ascended Order now. Damn it! Bad ever, bad ever, bad. Nice little monkey. Empty. But how do they know to search the library, let alone behind the shelves? They stole the crown right out of my own castle. How is this possible? You said Lord Bakaro was behind this. I think you better tell me what you know. 
If you go back far enough, most Bretons have a druid hiding somewhere in their bloodline, but so many records have been lost. How could he be certain? Regardless, why the ruse with the peace talks and the Ascendant Order? So Bakaro was behind it all. The attempts on the lives of the Alliance leaders, the death of the Archdruids of Raval and my father. Wait, Druid Laurel! The staff, Laurel and Free, are in danger! Orlaith may have believed in a new age, but Bakaro is leading us toward the Green Scourge. King Kasserain's prophecy of the return of the Druid King, it predicts two possibilities, either an era of peace and harmony, or a time of nature run amok. Go to Glimmertarn and make sure Laurel and the staff are safe. I'll gather what knights I can spare. See if Captain Siravain is willing to aid us once more. I have a feeling we'll need all the help we can get to stop Bakaro and his Ascendant Order. Siravain is a mercenary, but she and her Gilded Blade proved themselves trustworthy against the Dread Sails and the Fire Song. Since then, we've been paying her to help with the relief efforts. We needed every ship we could hire. I won't know until I ask. And if she refuses, you'll still have House Mornard at your side in the battle to come. Now hurry, my friend. Go make sure the staff and Druid Laurel are safe. Druid Ken! Be nice to get off oh, my feet. Way you're here. Something terrible has happened. This way! Rot and damnation! Lord Bakaro, he betrayed us! Lord Bakaro and a contingent of steadfast knights arrived with their usual crates of supplies. He took me aside, warned me that the Ascendant Order was after the Druid King's regalia. He wanted to make sure the staff was still safe. Light it all. But I did just what you'd expect. He's our ally, or I thought he was. I showed him that the staff was safe, and he grabbed it. Ordered his knights to hold us back. He has all three of the regalia, friend. All three. We tried to resist, but we were no match for his knights. Then Bakaro displayed the regalia, proclaimed himself the Druid King, and commanded Free to follow him. And they did. That's when Lady Arabelle arrived. Wait, Stefan, is he all right? As soon as I explained what happened, Lady Arabelle and her companions went after Bakaro. I told them we saw him leading Free toward Ifre's path. Mm. I stayed behind to tend to the wounded. The smacks of the Green Scourge. I'll go with you. It's from the dream of Kasserain, the prophecy of the Druid King. One choice, one will, one binding word shall bless or scourge all lands. Since those lines were carved into the Telling Stone, they've become the basis for our two possible futures. Ah. Oh. The blessing of the Green Reward, or the curse of the Green Scourge. One ushers in an age of harmony with nature. The other predicts a world under siege by an angry and vengeful wilderness. Two possibilities. One Druid King. The Druids have argued about that for generations. From what you found at Ivyhame, it's clear Kasserain believed the reward would come when the Circles reunited and selected a new king, while a usurper would summon the Scourge. A tyrant like Bakaro. How should I know how that blighter thinks? Lady Arabelle told me that he's the Ascendant Lord, which now makes sense. As soon as he revealed his treachery, his knights threw off their cloaks and revealed themselves to be the Ascendant Order. I'm not sure. Other than Orlaith, no one else has ever attempted to claim the title. At least not to my knowledge. Is it enough to just possess the regalia? Is that why he needs free? To legitimize his claim? I'm not sure. Still, this is bad. In every way. Everything I know tells me the Druid King can command nature, wield it like a tool or a weapon. If the title is taken by force, the prophecy tells us it begins an age of destruction. The Green Scourge. Lady Arabelle is still out there. Thank you, Nyron. The Druid Ken and I will take it from here.
This is the trail they took into Ifray's path. Aika säkälä löysi. Pakaro ei ymmärrä druideja siis. Vaikka sillä olisi verisukulaisuutta, niin se ei ymmärrä niitä. Ja toi niin kun on ehkä Bretonni aatelisen tapa ottaa, ottaa niin kun joku mandaatti vastaan. Eikä, eikä se ymmärrä, eikä luonnot. Barely recovered from nearly dying, and already chasing villains into a desolate and scary valley. Hurry, Five Claw. You must go help her. Zaji decided to... Uh, to... To wait out <laughs> here for you, Five Claw. Claw. Yes, yes, Zaji waited to direct you. It is easy to get lost in such places, yes? Lady Arabel followed the Ascendant Lord. Uh, should Zaji call him that now? Oh, thank you, Five Claw. Zaji will go back to the druid village and wait for you there. And look for Kaska. She is a great tracker. If she hasn't found Bakaro yet, she will shortly. Ja, jos se löytää Bakaro, niin Bakarosta on sitten revitty kyllä jäsenet irti. Että... Sentseratit on vähän ehkä voimakkaita. They went this way. Look, that's the giant cat that accompanied Lady Arabelle. Good to giant smell cat. you, Five Claw. Rivana thinks Bakaro came here for a purpose. He's not far ahead. Rivana told me to wait here. She wanted to make sure that Druid Laurel or whoever came after us knew where to go. She doesn't know what the Ascendant Lord is up to exactly, but she's sure he came to this place for a reason. They headed west and followed Bakaro into Ifre's path. Bakaro left some knights behind to slow us down, but I took care of them. Did you happen to see Zaji on your way here? Now that you're here, I'll head back too. I could be more helpful at the Druid village than in a cramped cavern. You might not believe this, but sometimes my size can be a hindrance. <laughs> Just make sure to bite Bakaro a few times for me. Okay. The ruins on the western wall of the hollow. That's got to be where everyone headed. All these plants were recently torn away. This door must have been hidden for ages. That's Lady Arabel. What's she doing? Careful, dears, and watch where you stand. <laughs> Now don't be alarmed, dear, but I happen to have stepped where I shouldn't have. I suppose I owe Druid Ravana an apology. The lingering effects of the poison do seem to have made me somewhat discombobulated. A pressure plate, I think. Some sort of trap put here who knows when and by who knows who. That can wait, though. I followed Lord Bakaro in here. He met with a group of Druids. Firesong, I think. He promised them vengeance against the Stone Lord. The nature spirit? Yes, they were here. I couldn't quite tell if they were a prisoner or not. The Bakaro did say he needed them to talk to Ifray's path, whatever that means. You need to go after them, my dear. Oh, I agree. But that's not going to be done quickly. And as long as I remain in place, we are all perfectly safe. You go on ahead. Druid Laurel can stay here and help me disarm this insidious contraption. Don't move, Lady Arabelle. Let me see what I can do. Not a muscle, dear lady. Go, my friend. Find Bakaro and free. Don't let them reach the ritual site. Do this. 
obey your king, Soma. The spirit here will originate from my bidding. The prophecy demands it. Punishing the Stone Law. Servant of Ibrahim, come forth! to examine these carvings. Damn my clumsiness. If not for the fact that we were delayed by that trap, we could have been here to help you with that creature. Then maybe Lord Bakaro wouldn't have been able to slip away. Hmm. I assume this was at least in part a test of sorts, to see if he could actually call forth a spirit and command it. Plus, he wanted to prove to his followers that he is worthy of the Druid King's regalia. Somewhere he can further strengthen and consolidate his power. Especially since he knows we're on to him. Druid Laurel is examining the stone carvings. Perhaps they can tell us something. Take a look and talk to her, dear. These carvings tell an interesting story. Okay. Take a look, my friend. This carving shows the Druid King binding a spirit into Mount Firesong. Oh, cool. Se auttaa meitä. No tässä ne on itse asiassa nää regalia. This carving depicts the spirit slumbering within the volcano. See the Druid King's regalia? This carving indicates a possible future. See how the spirit awakens and the volcano erupts? It's a warning. I always say... When someone gives you a warning, it's best to take heed. Ancient druids called upon the spirits of the green at their own peril. Only the druid king was ever able to do so safely. It's why we abandoned the practice long ago. This is where they did it. At least where some of them did it. Konyraatio loitsut on pikkasen vaikeampia, sen takia niissä on niinkun summoniointi ja paindi yhdessä. Ja se oli nimenomaan niin kuin, ää, Tirenni-haltija, joka on itse asiassa Tirennit on bretonialaista niin kuin, no, esi, ää, no, bretonialaista on niin kuin niiden äpäriä käytännössä. Niin, niin tosiaan tämä ei ole, ja siis kaikki magienkilan loitsut on sikäli turvallisia, että ne ei, ne ei voi niin kuin, ne henget hyökätä kimppuun, mutta tässä tarkoitetaan nyt sitä, että ää, luonnonhenkiä. Kutsutaan, ja ton, jostain syystä toi druidikuningas pystyy sen tekemään. Like so much of the ancient knowledge that remains, these carvings are open to interpretation. Obviously, we can see the spirits of the green, forces of nature in the bosom of Ifre. Then we see a spirit slumbering beneath Mount Firesong. Very much so. And the spirit must be extremely powerful due to how sacred Mount Firesong is. I think that's what the final carving tells us. Let the sleeping spirit lie. For generations, that's been one of the Fire Song's primary purposes. I think Bakaro plans to call forth the spirit of Mount Fire Song with the Druid King's regalia. 
With a spirit of that magnitude, the armies of Tamriel won't stand a chance. Go to Vastir, and tell Stefan to prepare his ships. He must- If we're going to stop Akaro, we're going to need help. Go to Castle Mornard and rally Count Stefan's knights. I'll make sure the rest of us are ready. Let's let toistamista.